Alrighty, let's play this in full first with sound. I love you. I've loved you since I met you. Cool. There's still something <laughs> where she feels so like she's half drunk and is about to fall over. Um, and also it feels a bit, I mean, I do see it I lean over. It still has that, that feel of clack like that, where it just suddenly straight and it's kind of broken. <clears throat> so anything you can do, because it also doesn't help that the chair is leaning this way. She's leaning this way. Everything's leaning this way. Um, you might have to just cheat this, but try potentially something where, um, she has, I don't know if that's going to get too two like this where you would put her body like that and and then you start a chest rotation and then this i'm trying to find something where it's just not not so off this way and this might just be me because once she gets to here see how this is okay i don't know why i'm reacting so violently to this lean all this is fine the balance seems fine that seems fine too but maybe it's just me. I'll leave it for now. Um, and you can you can always send me screenshots of maybe start that that body this way to give the, I'm exaggerating, but to give it more of a lean like that. I'm really exaggerating, but so it's not this, but there's there's a, a hint that she's actually leaning on one side of the body of her butt cheeks there, right? Legs here, she's leaning on this side, and then has that turn, just curious. Such a weird. But then I also see this higher than this. Giving this making this almost straight. And I know it's not, but it's giving me that that feel. So then I have suddenly this longer, wider neck here, and then suddenly that head tilting this way. Giving again this feel that it's mostly in the head and not not smoothly in the body. It's just weird. Also, this line, having this out like this reminds me of this a little bit but i know <laughs> that's just me having uh the neck come out like that but anyway let's go back here and you are saying in your notes here this is your first pass splining sounds good to me um try to adding a different hand pose at the end and as it's hard to get a clear silhouette when she grabs the guy's hands Is it? I don't think that's too bad. But you are on the border of of either a tangent with certain lines. I mean, would it be possible to just move it? You might even have to do like a little bit of both where she's leaning a bit more this way and you take that arm out. But it could just be all done with the arm so that the thumb is here. Um, I mean, not there, but if that's the body line, the thumb tip would be here, giving this a bit more negative space. I'm super picky, but um, to me, it feels like right on the edge. Either you you bring it back in and, and the hand is here in my awesome hand drawing, or you bring it out and then the hand is clear here with the, with the arm out, which I think should be totally doable, depending on how your setup is. Just moving out this way. For him, I know I should start at the beginning, but when he has his hand here, it's fine. This seems like he he's trying to keep that hand like this, where it feels like you want your hand to be... There's no pose for that, but as you go out, imagine you're rotating this down so that we see a bit more of the upper side, and then the thumb comes out. So this, this feels more like a, a creature claw, uh, paw or something. So it also feels like you're just going up. This also looks like an IK hand when you look the hand like this. And the forearm is down like that. Um, I will probably rotate. If you have that, that arm out like this, your wrist should be somewhat aligned with that forearm. This could work. But the thing is, once you go up here, you can see the break again. There's a lot of um, elbow movement down there and you can see high break stairs. So I'm going to assume this is an IK arm because once you're here, and I know you're saying here also the male character is super rough. So I totally get that. Just watch out that um, obviously ambient movement. So it's not sticking like this. You know, when you have head movement that the rest of the body gets involved. 
you know all this, but linear keys, so ease out of that. But you can see how the rotation is always the same, pretty much, while the arm is doing you know, a pretty straight path. This is like her, but pretty straight path there, and especially a very straight direction change. So if your path is like this, all those things here, the non-rotation on the wrist and the path change like that are just IK arm uh, flags. Same thing here. Same rotation, lots of movement in that elbow, giving it that broken thing. So as you continue on, it's going to be tough. But as that arm goes down, that wrist has to go down. So you might end up looking more like this. Maybe a little bend, right? But it's going to be a bit more like this. You're going to have to go from bend from here to here. That rotation. But that also means it's going to pivot off of here because she holds it here. This is your anchor point. But then the fingers have to come uh, follow that wrist and then have maybe a tighter grasp. Well, just a lot of work ahead here. This just feels way too IK, but I know it's still early. So just a heads up. Um, and you're saying I haven't tracked anything yet. All right, that's fine. So I'm just telling you all the obvious things that you know, especially the face shapes. Uh, let's see here. I kind of wanted to remove him as it could add a little mystery to the shot. But if you feel he's mandatory, well, I mean, you would still have to have the hand. I mean, if there's any way, imagine you're just completely breaking the shot and moving his head back like this, chin here, the nose there. So he's just out of frame. So we just have this, but then you cut off, not exactly at the elbow line, but maybe here. I mean, you could, but if you do that, um, you know, I mean, if that's your framing, and just make the shot. But this also seems more widescreen than no, it's a 720p, 1080p thing. My concern is that if you move it over, it's pretend, right? You move that framing over, and this side of the frame is now here with the head out of the way, or maybe here. You're giving us this much more room here, so she's going to end up basically in this space. And there's nothing here, so this is already very right side heavy with this being very edgy and feeling slightly uncomfortable um composition wise you know you might have to just kind of rotate the character around so maybe maybe you can keep all of this maybe cut into here that part of the chest might be a bit more here and there's no head you can just keep an arm it might feel a bit weird we're just you just see that arm um or maybe you have a better idea. I'm just concerned that the framing is going to get weird because it's already pushing the weird aspect. But I don't know. Maybe you have a couple tests. Maybe you can send me some screenshots to see what your thought is of just having an arm in there. Because, um, I mean, I kind of want to remove him. I mean, you need... Unless you're saying you don't want that arm at all. That's not really clear in your email here. Do you have any advice on what I could do to animate him, keep him alive, etc.? Um, I don't know. Let me know what I don't mind taking him out, but I mean, you still need that arm again, unless you feel like you're going to change your acting ideas and she's just maybe, you know, grabbing the cloth or something or whatever to get that. Um, I don't know. Let me know. You're also saying the girl's neck is naturally that length. That may be, but it still has this really long feel. I don't know if you can just cheat it and bring that neck down back to here, maybe here ish. So that, you know, just a bit further back. Um, this just feels very, very long. But, you know, I'm also reacting to this. Maybe I'm just reacting to that enveloping of modeling. But it's a very, I mean, it's a very long neck. Might just be me. Again, this could be something that's just very subject uh, subjective. Maybe ask around. Everybody else is okay. Uh, since we're posting this online, maybe people can comment what they think. It just seems to me just very very straight but then i see also the conversions here of that neck it's right where that arm is giving this this somewhat tangent and i'm, I'm super exaggerating but i don't know There's something about that neck could just be me but let me see what else is going on here i love you watch out i think this is fine giving us a taste of her um state of mind i would say at a crazy level but she's definitely feeling somewhat desperate with those crazy um you know the white eyeball if you expose that much of the white it's very intense down here you offset your little 
shoulders a bit. Maybe ease in your eyebrows by two frames a bit more. It's slightly harsh, but it's not too bad. Super picky. The only thing I would say is once you get into this, I feel like that would be... Even though she's looking at him, it feels like she's looking up. I would probably rotate that head down a bit from here to here. This feels even crazier when she has the head slightly back and then seeing those, the white in the eyes. I love you. I lo this is a bit harsh. I'm not sure if we need this. I don't mind the compression shoulders, head down with that arc. But then I feel this because you're going like that. And then it's bam like that. It's fairly abrupt and it's sun up. And then you go back down. Um, subjectively, of course. I feel like you can go from this straight into this. I don't think you need that. I think you can just go into this. And I know it needs a little bit of overshoot and relax. But if there's anything that you can do. I just feel like this feels very bouncy, personally. Where you have this big arc. Then you go up. Then you go down. And then you go back up. And then you're back into this. I mean, if you watch this in real time... I love you. Roo, roo, roo. It, that's kind of the feeling that I have. And I wonder if you can just... To me, it feels like you want to take this out. Either that or massively reduce it. But also just look at your your neck spacing, how it goes up. And bam, it stays on that line there. Doing this. So I know as you said you haven't tracked anything yet. Just watch out for your arcs. But I feel like instead of that, we can just go a bit lower into something like this. I love you. I love you. I love you. Yeah, she's a bit harsh how quickly she goes forward and back as well. I think reducing all those arcs and curves and just the extent of how up and forward and back she goes is going to still give it a nice arc, but just reduce it a bit. But she also has a really big head, giving, you know, the emphasis with all those head movements are it's going to be so exaggerated. I think you tone this down, it's going to be okay. I love you. I like your offsets in the hands. I love you. It's cool. Love you. Maybe on you. You, she just goes mainly forward and down. It might have a little bit of a twist in the head. So if you track her nose, she does you. A little bit of you. A bit of a, a movement and an arc with a side twist on her head, maybe. You. This is a bit fast, meaning he pulls his hand away. And I feel like you want to give this another five to seven frames where he starts moving and she's right away looking down and going, oh, this also feels extremely exaggerated. I know this is technically in character given that she has this face. This seems like it's normal for her. Um, but here are my thoughts. It feels like you want to pull this, give this five to seven frames, just a little bit, a tiny beat for her to then realize what he has done. It feels like she's reacting pretty much right away to that arm. I feel like she wants to have the arm go away and then she looks down and then goes back. It doesn't have to be that clearly staggered, but just a bit more separated. Where I feel like you want to do this, right? In that moment of, wait, he took her hand, his hand away, <gasps> right? Just a slightly more separated. And my question for you, do you want this to be, I mean, you did it, so clearly you want to, but I'm just questioning if she really needs to be this freaked out, where we're losing her eyebrow here and those crazy eyes again. And I know this is consistent with this. Just a question for you. I've loved you since I met you. Because the thing is... I've loved you since I met you. you since I met you. This is also a bit sharp, the up and down. Since I met you. Just a bit. I would soften this or have less up like that, but a bit more of a wider arc. But the thing is, I'm looking at... Like, this is her most desperate moment, right? I've loved you since I met you. This is more pleading, but this is her. <gasps> this is I loved you forever, forever. But now this reaction and this reaction, right? So if I go back and forth, they're pretty much at the same level. Mouth here is just a bit wider. The eyes on the bottom side are a bit wider. Uh, where is it? Here. Well, the eyebrows are much higher, uh, higher here. So what I'm saying is that 
this being your big moment of desperation, I feel like this is pretty much at the same level. So are we going into, oh no, he took his hand away, I'm so desperate, versus I really love you, oh no, he took the hand away, now I gotta really beg because I love you. And I feel like this needs to be your biggest point of acting wise and, and her intensity and everything, right? These two moments. So that that's, I feel like you want to tone down your lids, tone down your brows, um, tone down, maybe bring the head down a bit. So she's less like, oh, crazy shock. But it's more like this. And even then, bring the brows down just a bit more. It's more of a concern look, right? So that you have room to grow. She has somewhere to go in her here. So that this is the biggest moment. And not that. I hope that makes sense. So I think I'm going to leave it at that. I know this is just, you know, first passes. I'm looking at like the, the hands. It was a bit clean in that rotation. I think there's some technical things, but given that this is the first spline pass, I'm pretty hopeful. I think it's going to be okay. I'm not super worried about the technical aspect. Um, so I'm just going to leave it at that. You can let me know what you want to do with, with all those uh, choices and maybe toning her down a bit, toning her down a bit here, maybe not as much of a tilt. Uh, and let me know what you want to do with him if you're planning on just seeing the arm, removing him completely. Just some clarification there. I'm going to leave it at that and stop rambling. Thank you. All right. There's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.